you ever been to a really good magic show? I mean, one that you could go back to to see over and over again without ever getting tired of it. Well, to me, that's November. That's November in the Midwest, anyway. It's an absolutely amazing time and place to be amongst the wild. I go to Oklahoma almost every fall. Experiencing the whitetail rut is special. Bucks on their feet, chasing and cruising the fence lines, driving themselves nuts for an off chance at getting some tail. It seems like they can just materialize from nowhere, like magic. And to me, that's part of what makes this show one of the greatest there is on earth. I'm on this farm by invitation of my good friend, Brian Broderick of Day6 Gear. And the standards starting out on this hunt have been set pretty high. You never know what kind of beast might come walking out of the woods or the tall grass, and you never know when to expect a roving buck to swing by your stand. But with Brian's years of experience on this farm, I'm thinking my chances this week are pretty darn good. This young buck is getting a pass. Walk under my stand like that on the last day of my hunt and the decision might get a little tougher. But over the years, these types of hunts have come to mean something more to me than just filling the cooler or notching a quick tag. I'm in it and I'm in it to experience just a little bit more. Might get out the rattling horns. Bang them around a little bit.
It can be tricky to judge age on a deer during the heat of the rut. Bucks are worn down and lean and mean, and some young bucks with big racks might be awful tempting. But as the old saying goes, you won't kill a biggin if you hang your tag on a little'un. So passing on a buck like this is not always easy. But there you have it. Probably be right back in here this evening. The wind's good for it. If we have any wind. But, anyway. Bang these horns around a little bit and see what happens. But it's, it's the rut, you know, you never know what's gonna, what's gonna come through, so. Near nice and early, it's about 3.30. And uh, get set up, see what happens. So they haven't freshened scrapes for a bit. Been seeing a lot of chasing. I think they're breeding right now. So there's not a lot of like, not a lot of messing around because they're out there messing around. So they're just doing it. After a week of persistent hunting, the temperatures have finally dropped out of the bottom. I'm sitting on a small wheat plot on the river bottom's edge, and these bucks are up on their feet and definitely on the prowl. It's gotta be just a matter of time before a mature buck pokes his head out of the wood line and at least gives me a little bit of a look. Finally got some cover noise plane coming over. The deer have been moving like crazy. The second I got a setup in here in the stand, they are moving. They're doing it. I mean, it's a nice cold morning. So, sit tight. <sighs> Hope we can get them to come this way.
Eh. Eh. Where's my arrow? Arrow in the dirt. Deer in the ground. Oh man. Ah, I can't believe that happened. This is literally the last day, last morning. These deer have been moving all morning. Bucks chasing, big bucks over there fighting. I mean, it's just been nuts. <sighs> Cold morning. <sighs> Man, that's a good looking deer. I can't wait to get down and get on it. There's my stand right there. There's the arrow. There ain't no doubt what it is. Pretty good shot. Good buck. What an awesome buck. Look at that. Had a struggle to get him on film, but uh, I got the bow drawn back and he wouldn't stop and I had to keep nudging it with my arm, and, but I got it, so. Amazing, awesome buck. Last day of the hunt, I fly out in the morning, so. Spend the rest of the day getting him taken care of. And, uh, just relive the story with Brian and everybody else. Ah, oh, sweet. And there you have it. Brian, I cannot begin to thank you enough. This has been a blast. Time and experience is the greatest factor for whitetail hunting success, but it doesn't hurt to have access to such a magical place. All right, Broderick. Yes. So I got sick of cooking my own meals on my hunts, so I brought myself a maid on this trip. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, all he does is hang stands, cooks food, and shoots a big deer. <laughs> well, that's what we're eating, Jeremy. Yeah. We'd starve otherwise.